Hi you guys, so I'm actually back from IMAX New York City today and it was actually like terrible weather outside um, earlier, like it was just really bad um, and it's kind of like the sun is just not out, like I, I don't know where the sun is. He doesn't feel like I'm um, coming out today. Basically, I'm going to show you guys some fashion and makeup um, stuff that I got from IMATS uh, from IMATS as well as just around New York City I went to Soho um, and that's where I did most of my shopping so yeah we got some super cute stuff that I wanted to show you guys here's the bag from IMATS it was so 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 cool and then they had Royal and Langnickel and my mom actually bought two brush rolls from Royal and Langnickel that um, we don't have because they're the newest um, edition, I guess you could say, that she bought. Um, and so they have to ship them to us because I didn't have them in stock. I got this sunbeam from Benefit. And I actually bought this for the main reason being that um, Hot Brilliance or Aspen usually mixes this in with her foundation. And I thought that looks really cool. I want to try it out. So I went ahead and bought this. So. Um, I'm going to see how that works out for me. I also went to Inglot and I will go ahead and show you the six eyeshadows that I got from there. And um, basically this was based on the freedom system which means that you pick out what eyeshadow you, you want and then you usually get um, a little magnetic palette. But what they didn't realize was that they gave us a palette with the circles on it instead of the squares. So I don't have the Inglot palette. I just have the eyeshadows. I got this first eyeshadow that's kind of like a golden color. If I can open this, I don't know how this opens. So this is the eyeshadow. It's kind of this golden color. It actually looks kind of similar to Amber Light or like Woodwinked or something. Um, and it's actually called Pearl 430. That was the first um, eyeshadow that I got. I got... Um, this one in matte 330. Oh, so this is called 430P, and this is called 330M. So this is just a really pretty, um, skin-toned kind of base color. It'll be perfect for kind of like a best friend color. Um, AMC Shine 31. Um... Or is it that? And this is like a really pretty kind of like, this would be like a Velux Pearl and MAC talk. So this is what it looks like. And it's a really pretty kind of like medium brown with a little bit of silverish shimmer. It's super duper pretty. And I also got um, AMC Shine 43 which looks like this oh okay this looks actually super similar to the one that I just showed you guys so I don't know but yeah that's what this one looks like matte 239 earth no 329 M and it is actually just like a dark dark matte brown which would be perfect for like lining the upper lash line or lower lash line um, as well as defining the crease. This is a super pretty like dark matte brown. AMC Shine 08. I got a lot of these like shine ones. And this one is kind of like a yellowish kind of cream color. It's super duper pretty and so it just looks like that and then NYX was probably my biggest downfall I think I got a lot from NYX um so first I guess I'll show you guys um okay. so I actually got this extreme lip cream in the color pinky nude And it's so pretty. I'll show it to you guys on my lips. It's actually super pigmented, which I really like. I'm sorry about this lighting. 
the room that I usually film my videos in is occupied right now, so I couldn't go in there and just like bust in and film. So I decided to, uh, what's that word? Then I got this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color French Fries, which is just a really pretty um, color. It's like a dark brown, and I really, really like that as a base. It's going to be super pretty. It's NYX Studio Liquid Liner in Extreme Gold, which is just a nice, pretty gold color. Um, and I kind of want to do a tutorial, basically, with the gold eyeliner soon. Very, very soon, so look out for that. Gold Candy Glitter Liner in... Oh, gold. Very creative. So basically, I'll try to like swatch this for you guys. So it's that right there. And then I got um, a NYX um, Rouge Cream Blush in the color T Rose. And I actually always look for this every single time I go to Ulta. Like, you guys don't even understand. I look for it every time. And they never have it, so it's kind of like, what the heck. So I got this palette. It says NYX color combinations for your eyes only, mysterious brown eyes. And um, it is super pretty. So this is for brown eyes. It has super pretty colors. I'll just swatch um, some for you. So there's like the purple and the brown. They're very, very nice. and super pigmented as well so NYX shadows are actually really nice liquid liner with growth lash serum um, in jet black so I will show you guys what this looks like that's what it is right there it's very very liquidy so I don't know about that part of it um, I got these pairs of eyelashes um, and the first one is in Dreamcatcher, and then this one is Sugarlicious. This is a little, oh, I'm getting tongue tied. Wet n Wild Color Icon Blusher in the color Mellow Wine, and it's just so pretty. Um, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can see though. And this is like a super pigmented blush, like no joke. And so that's all I got for beauty things. Um. I love everything that I got and I'm super excited that I got to the chance to go to IMAT. So first I have two items of jewelry. The first one is actually um, this bracelet right here, this colorful one, this beaded one right here, is actually from um, these two mother and daughter um, and their names are Haley and Dee. And um, I feel like I should call her Miss D. She's older than me, so respect, respect. Um, and so, yeah, Haley and Miss D. And they are um, the founders of May Movement. And basically, they sell these bracelets um, that are made by um, women in Kenya, I believe that it is. Um, and they basically distribute these bracelets, and they brought so many of them to IMATS, which is like... Can I just say props to them because that is a great, there's a bird right there, great place to go because you have like a lot of girls that love just clothes, makeup, and jewelry and things. So it is an awesome way to just um, get your name out there basically through a lot of these people who go to um, IMATS and they actually, we met them and they were so sweet and I actually wasn't feeling too good um, when we had dinner with them or it was kind of like a sit down and talk because they had already eaten dinner but they are really really um, powerful women and you guys should definitely check them out it's maymovement.com and also Bella May 09 is Haley's channel it was actually um, by Mark Bernstein Bernstein I don't know how you say that but I will put the name down below and this is a super cool bracelet. He was actually a street vendor, and when my sister stopped, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, because 
you usually, when you're going to Times Square and stuff, you usually don't stop at the street vendor places. Um, in Soho, they had really cool street vendors. And so I got this bracelet from him. Um, well, we bought it, obviously. And so this, I forgot what it's called, but it has like these chain links. And then it has this little spike there and spike there. And then it's like a belt loop type of um, clasp or whatever to hold it together. And then, um, so yeah, it's basically like a wrap bracelet and it's really, really nice quality and I love it. I got this coral shirt from Pookie and Sebastian and it looks like this and it's a button down coral shirt and it's flowy at the bottom. It kind of has like a high-low hem going on there and then the sleeves are nice and big and flowy and it's like a sheer, nice, comfortable material. I really like that to wear under it which you guys probably don't care. This is just a coral um, tank. Is this the back of it? Yeah, that's the back. Um, and, well, it's not, I don't know, I'm loving coral and orangish pink. So this is kind of like a corally pinky shirt or tank. The most amazing high-low hem skirt I've ever seen. Um, basically, it has this zip down the front and then it looks like this. How cute is this oh my gosh it's amazing so I actually got some Ray-Bans they're gray fade they're actually blue and they actually fit my head like my other ones don't fit my head at all um, so I'll show you guys them and they're kind of like this matte bluish color as well and I love Ray-Bans I also got this dress and I got a lot of dresses I realized it's like this tribal print dress and I'll show you guys it's pretty long um, but basically has these straps yeah and it basically it buttons and then it has like it stops the buttons and it has this like the slit at the bottom so I really really like this a lot then I got yet another dress and this one's coral again um, and this is actually kind of like a mini dress um, so here's the front of it and then it just goes down to like right there. I got these ponytails which are kitsch hair accessories and they basically, um, it was $7 for one, two, three, four, five of these. Um, and they don't leave a crease in your hair and they're supposed to be like really, really nice ponytails. Um, and they don't like crease your hair or whatever. And they don't hurt and all that. So, yeah, we got this like brownish pack and then this like colorful pack. This headband, which is so, so, so cute. If you guys don't know, I really like headbands and anything like that that just pulls my hair out of my face. Like, to keep this hair in the front out of my face because I know that um, it's really annoying when I touch my hair a lot. So, yeah. Got this headband. Essie nail polish in Ole Caliente and it is just this super duper pretty like I don't know how to it's like a watermelon pinkish color that was all I got from New York City I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later bye